What's happening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions on the Rich the Man channel. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and I don't know what the hell this is, honestly. Um, okay, so what am I doing in this video? This is going to be my roster revealed and I'm going to basically go through my kind of champions of different storage. Talk about uh, which champions are kind of good for me at the moment and which I'm enjoying. Ones that I'd like in the future and other kind of like stuff relating to champions because it's all about champions in the game well marvel contest of champions so let's get into it obviously quick nod goes out to my three stars yes you know you are not always the champions i go to nowadays but the fact that devaluation and the six stars being introduced are coming but you are still a part of me in some sort of a way because they help my rating it increases my rating exponentially so uh, yeah i'm uh, sporting a 368,000k rating. Not incredible. I've got a lot of rank ups to do and I'm extensively behind and hopefully I can get some new champions. And I've still got Labyrinth of Legends still to do. So yeah, lots of grinding and obviously lots of improvements that need to be uh, done to that. But three stars are just propping up my rating a little bit more. That's really the kind of the lay of the land and there's all the maxed ones there. And there's a load of other ones. But that's the thing, I get these new champions, obviously we all get these new champions in the calendar once per month and uh, I don't always have the opportunity to kind of put them up higher to kind of understand the way that champions work in order to then benefit me on 4s and 5s. But let's go to the 4 stars now. So here we have my 4 star roster, we'll start with the maxed one first. Wolverine, Vision who's a fairly recent one, I've got Daredevil, Star-Lord, Miss Marvel, Scarlet Witch. Hulk, Spider-Man, Ultron, Captain America, World War II, Black Widow. We've got Gwenpool five, uh, up to rank 5, which is one that I, I tell what, that is something I'm really enjoying at the moment, that champion. And Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler obviously is great for Alliance Wars. Uh, as well, Spider-Man, Symbiote Spidey, I kind of have in defense as well. Uh, but the way the kind of game's changing, I think I'm going to have to opt more for my 5 stars being kind of put up because that just seems more logical to have that kind of strength in defense. And obviously diversifying that I've got some kind of odd five stars. Not that star lord, but we'll get on to that in a minute. My frustrations. With regards to roster improvements, with regards to four stars, this is something that I'm having this kind of inner conflict. Whether or not I am going to focus my attention solely on my five star roster first. And then look to kind of build up my four star roster. This is a bit of a catch-22 because on one hand I would like to grind more basics in arena which then means that it more it pushes me more towards getting my four stars up but at the same time I want to make it easy with regards to arena grind with regards to getting milestones and better stuff so therefore is it better for my five stars to be put up which then obviously will benefit things like questing alliance questing and alliance wars so I'm in a kind of a quandary at the moment of which one I focus on based on what I need to actually do oh difficult 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 of the four stars that I've got to rank up further the rank fours that I would potentially take up to rank five uh, they're all in with a shout magic would be an option however though it wouldn't be um, I'd say the only option I would probably go is like oh yeah I'd use it for alliance wars but that may change there's too many magics in the world that are five star. Um, I seem to be unlucky with that, but that's just how my luck is. Some people are incredibly lucky. I'd say that next thing with the shout, um, I would like to do something with King Groot, uh, Yellow Jacket, and even Black Panther, and X23. Of the 330s that I've got, yeah, not really interested with any of them being put up further. If I had an endless supply of cosmic. Catalyst tier 4, then I would probably look towards Gamora and Drax. Uh, Rogue is in with a shout, but I need to awaken her first. And uh, anything else? No, not particularly. Uh, not even that Kamala Khan, because yeah, she's rather good. I, no, that's a, that's a complete lie. Absolute lie. Crossbones, I would like to get up to rank 5, but <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's an option until I awaken the champion. And other than that, anything lower? Not really interested with, uh, especially that stuff like Ronan, uh, Rhino, and um, and Cyclops, the Xavier School, because you can get that from uh, completing Labyrinth for Legends. You get those awakenings, those uh, signature awakenings on those characters. So it doesn't really kind of mean much to me to 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 kind of put them up further. With regards to hope for four stars, I would probably say that it's Archangel, 
Now that I've got Rogue, Rogue's off the list. Hyperion's always been on the list as a, as a champion I really would like to get. And I think that's pretty much it for the time being. There's some newer champions which I do like the look of, but I would prefer those two that I've mentioned from the kind of previous list to kind of make an appearance. Dormammu at 4 star would be nice and that would go into something that I want to test out in the game. I want to test out a synergy which is the Dark Dimension synergy and test out uh, stacking that percentage of the potential revive. But that's something for another day and hopefully I do get that because I really would like to make that video sooner rather than later. But the focus is kind of pointed towards 5 stars at the moment and what I do with my 5 star roster. So it's all about them five stars and the way that the game is kind of going with six stars coming soon I'm going to have to focus on my five stars. Like I said earlier in the video I am really am toying between my focus whether or not I build a four star team of, uh, of rank four to five that's going to be focused on doing arena grinds for the purpose of getting those basics. But at the same time uh, with Alliance Wars, Alliance Quest and the demand of higher and difficult content, it really does push my agendas for what I need to do in order to, to kind of really compete, as well as do things like Labyrinth of Legends. I do need to get uh, a stronger five-star roster, and that will come in shape or form of trying to get higher rank with regards to lead champions. Lead champions at the moment, I think it's all about my Captain Marvel, and uh, kind of bringing up the rear is uh, Dormammu, he's kind of catching up and I will eventually get this guy up to rank 4 at the point of recording this video, he's not, he's very very close, so hopefully that happens soon. And obviously with regards to future development, it is vitally important that I increase these guys going to things like as we discussed, Labyrinth for Legends, as well as Alliance Quest, Alliance Wars and general kind of questing. Ah, oh, it's... It's really nice at the moment to kind of work around Captain Marvel with suicides. However, though, I would like to get some of these other champions from the basic. I've not been too fortunate. And as we can see, like the top row is a good row. Uh, I decided to upgrade Rhino. I didn't do a video on him because I was like, well, I'm not quite not quite sure whether or not this is going to be an interesting or fun video. But the main thing is uh, I upgraded Rhino because I felt that he would be of great assistance with the cards to Alliance Wars and yeah he is kind of a, a point in there however though it's all about get, trying to get those uh, those tier 2 alphas which is becoming a bit of a nuisance now yes they have been put in the glory store but the regards to how much you can actually get your hands on and the cost of it oh that's another that's another discussion so yes there are positives but at the same time it's like you have to have an exponential amount of glory and I'm sporting, I think I had like 3,000 glory. I bought a revive because I thought it would help me out with some content going into the Alliance Wars, the new update, as well as the fact that I'm using about, I think I'm waiting then until the, the kind of the return of the week, so therefore I can get another tier 4 basic. So buying two tier 4 basics and some resource like potions that are going to help my alliance out with alliance wars and also maybe I mess up in alliance quests. It's not, it doesn't usually happen but maybe if we do map 6 then it can be helpful for that if uh, mistakes happen. But the main focus is is now that obviously that glory can't be spent on that tier 2 alpha fragments and it's like yeah it's just... I don't really kind of like rate it as something that I really want to spend on. It is disappointing not to see too much tier 2 alpha kind of fragments or kind of fully formed in act 5.1 or 2 and and point 3. So we have to then wait for a full exploration and completion in order to uh, to get something more substantial. So it's a bit disappointing with regards to the, the kind of the higher level of the content and the way it evolves. But with regards to what I want out of my roster, kind of going forward and future, uh, there's going to be so many champions that I want. So the top row, Captain Marvel, good champion. Dormammu, good champion. Rhino, good for some things with regards to content in the game, uh, but not always good. Uh, Cyclops, yeah, good champion. Storm, brilliant champion. Uh, Rocket Raccoon, yeah, good champion. Guillotine, yeah, great champion. Hulkbuster, pfft, yeah. Spider-Man, good champion. Winter Soldier, better champion number four, good champion. Uh, Black Panther, good champion. Colossus, mm, average champion. Hawkeye, very good champion. And uh, an Ant-Man, mm, mediocre champion, not uh, not amazing. But still, there's champions that I would like to kind of improve with regards to this roster. Wouldn't mind getting that Star-Lord. That's something that I really want. X-23 would be particularly good. King Groot at five star would be incredibly nice. 
And there's a few others five star related, which I think will give my roster that added boost. And I'm thinking whether or not I'm going to do a five star Medusa crystal. But my chances are very slim to nil, especially with the featured luck being abysmal. I think it's it's something ridiculous. Like uh, for every 10 featured that I've done, I've only got one and that is Dormammu. And obviously Dormammu is probably going to be in the the standard basic pool very, very shortly. So then the argument for kind of instead should I then wait for Blade uh, is there. So I'm really toying with a few things at the moment. But hey, if I do Labyrinth of Legends in the next couple of months, then maybe that would be an option to then get Blade or some other five star featured in the in the future. But we'll see. Obviously, we'd like to go for Doctor Voodoo and as well as uh, Iceman but these these things I don't think I'm ever going to get I think it's going to be the same thing with a four star Star Lord it took two years to get a four star Star Lord so the luck isn't always with one and obviously that's the royal one because we all share the same kind of misfortune so uh, I'm not going to go woe is me because everybody else is in the same pool so to speak so thank you very much for watching this video on uh, my roster. This was um, all the champions that I've got so far up until the point of the video being recorded, which is the 5th of September 2017. Hopefully there are some drastic improvements going into the end of the year, uh, but we'll see. I've got a lot of crystals to open and also hopefully a lot of decent champions to get in the future. So thanks very much for watching again. You can follow the channel as we do Marvel Contest of Champions stuff by hitting that subscribe button. Also remembering to follow me on social media, link is in the description below. Don't forget to hit your notifications on because obviously we do MCC news and that's uh, something that people really enjoy. So yeah, uh, thanks again and I shall catch you on the flip side. Bye bye for now.